We have Miola Umoja, one Kenya coalition party presidential candidate Raila Ondinga, have come to the defense of Karoche Breweries Limited after Kenya Revenue Authority shut down the beer manufacturer of a default increment of tax arrears. Speaking on Friday in Zika, Raila urged the government to avoid taking punitive measures that cripple key industry prayers in the name of reclaiming taxes. Ondinga said that the state should regulate tax and accord investors good payment rules to allow them to be compliant. He went on to say that the move by the state to shut the company not only disables the company but also affects Kenyans. At the same time, while are drumming up support for the Azimia faction. Ondinga intimated that his administration would protect the private business sector and come up with good tax laws that would help investors and business people to be tax compliant. But don't close business because somebody has defaulted in paying taxes. Don't do it. Because if you, if you close a business, you're not only killing the investor, you're also killing the employees. That's what I would tell them. Let Keroche go. Don't kill Keroche. From here, come on, where's the Kulipa Leo? Kulipa Kesho. Come on, spread it out. Here, after the Demi Yaku, I'm in Kenya, I'm in Kenya, I'm in Toroka, I'm in the Wapi. Come on, where's the Kulipa Leo? Stay there, hey, and the Leo, come on, where's the Zara, here, where's the Kulipa? That is how we do business. I think we work our own bureaucrats, and I think we work our own Zara, when I work our Zara now, do we? Don't kill the goose that lays the golden egg. While addressing the media on Tuesday, Karoche CEO Tabitha Karaja said the company was shut down on May 15, 2022, after defaulting on earlier agreed plan to repay tax arrears totaling to 30 million. Karaja, however, maintains that KRA's move to shut down Karoche breweries is politically motivated, adding that KRA had gone ahead to issue agency notices to several banks against leading the brewer, fully paralyzing the operations of the company. Under tremendous pressure with a large team of your commissioners and top officers who are compiled to enter an agreement whose implementation on the face of it could not be supported by the company's performance in its immediate post-COVID-19 economic effects and the first four months closures by KRI. Our pleas for time to resume payment on attaining full operational performance were rejected. Called various offices for intervention and it has been made clear to me that I can only simply exercise my political and democratic right under the Azmir Umoja coalition and that has matter stand. The advance action will be sustained. My concern is that we must never mix business and politics. Covering the COVID-19 pandemic, the brewery was closed for two years because of the measures enforced by the government to contain the spread of COVID-19. And during this time, we incurred tax arrears of 322 million. Still plead with the KIA to afford us an opportunity to get back to our feet and gain our footing as a manufacturer.